Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome back to part two of Project Hospital, my first look and play of this game. And we've just rewound the footage a little bit from episode one just so I can do this lovely intro because of course in the power of editing I've decided to cut down episode one into two smaller parts because I recorded for, well over an hour and a half in one hit so I've decided to chop the video up a little bit to make it a bit more watchable for you so we've just rewound a little bit but not to worry we're going to quickly skip through the evening once we get the option to go straight on till morning and then we'll be starting day two in our lovely little hospital which has only got its doctor's clinics at the moment its emergency triage center so there we go straight on till morning and then we're going to hop into day two so we start day two, we've got to treat 20 patients. Where's our doctors? Here they come. First patient's in. In colder. Right, what's your problem, Mary Robinson? Oh, you've probably got an uh, athlete's foot. Maybe nail fungus. Crumbly nails. Yeah, you've got nail fungus. He's going to have a bit of a touch and a feel up, is he? Oh, our other doctor's late. Isn't he? Him. Because he has that long commute, he's late for work. You're going to mycologic sampling. Some mycologic sampling. Does that require you then to go to the stats lab? Have your samples tested. Come on, Dr. Taylor. Can't be that late for work. No, it's over an hour. You're over an hour late, son. You're Mr. Gonzalez, I'm taking it. No, you're not. You're Kate Wilson. You've got breathing problems and chest pain. Right, so the first patient's going to the stats lab, which will be her. <coughs> Come on. Have your samples taken. You've got a fever, so you've probably got flu. You've got iron deficiency anemia. Well done. Well done, Doc. He's waiting for... Oh, gee, this janitor's another pervert. He just wants to mop the floor now while she's got her top off. Shocking. She's done her samples in the sample lab. He's going home happy. What was the problem? She got bronchitis. Fair enough. You've got a foot injury. Mm. Probably going to be. Oh, it's probably metatarsal bones. Maybe. Maybe metal tarsal bones. I tell you what, if you find metal tarsal bones in there, Doc, you've done a fantastic job. Cause that's nowhere near her foot. You know, it kind of reminds me of like Penny and um, Sheldon in the Big Bang Theory when she dislocates her shoulder, and he's trying to um, help her get dressed. She's like. <clears throat> Is that my elbow? And he's like, doesn't feel like an elbow. And she's like, well, we'll let it go. <laughs> You've got a foot contusion. Great. Problem solved. You've got back pain. Right. Uh, what was the last back pain? Scoliosis. Wasn't it? Scoliosis was the last back pain patient we had.
Go straight in with the physical exam. What's a weakness? Scoliosis. Yeah. Scoliosis. Right, you've got um, crumbly nails, discoloration and nail thickening. Right. You've got nail fungus. Nail fungus! What nail fungus later? What did you have? You had the foot contusion. <clears throat> so we're doing a good job. We're getting rid of the patients for 120. Making money. Oh, we did financially. How did we do yesterday? 3360. It was not bad. Doing all right, wages. We, we spend about half of what we make though in wages at this point in time. You've got dry cough, fever, breathing for chest pain. You've got bronchitis. My guess. You've got bacterial tonsillitis. Sorry, James Garcia. You're not going for a Jane Fonda. She's going for a poo. <clears throat> She's playing solitaire again. Our stats lab lady. Stats lab lady for the win. So I think that definitely the key to kind of success, I mean, so far I've not played a lot of this game. Um, just testing a few things, but definitely a slow burn is better in terms of starting out and just taking your time, building up some money. Because when you start getting into some of these other things, you start needing a lot of different wards and doctors and you need to have night shifts and then it's you end up with patients coming in with ridiculous illnesses and stuff and it's just a case of oh dear people start dying and oh things start going bad if you go a bit too fast you got weakness you got chest pain you got fatigue you got iron deficiency anemia. Yeah, doctors called it. Carol Foster, you have got anemia. Who's next? Crazy Eyes. From Oranges and New Black. Has got three hidden symptoms. Tell Dr. Taylor what's wrong with you. He'll, he'll, he'll still want a copper feel. You got itching, so you've probably got dermatitis or something. Yeah, he's going to have a feel, even though she's got itching. It's running a risk, isn't it, mate? Here comes, here comes this fella. Thomas, you've got seven hidden symptoms. What did we decide on? convinced yet he's gonna have a feel he's decided on athletes four again those were nowhere near her feet weakness night sweats fatigue you've got chronic fatigue syndrome he's gonna provide recommend rest for you Yeah. You don't even need to do the physical exam, mate. You've already figured out what's wrong with him. They prescribe him some exercise. There we go. And some antidepressants, look. Wow. You're vomiting. You've got diarrhea. Eh? Nausea. You're lactose intolerant. Oh, called it. 
of a man with a fart problem. About halfway through the day, I've cured basically, well, our tenth patient. He's on his way out, we've got ten more to go. Janitor, he's doing some cleaning. Comes with Beardy. Jordan Brown has got a fever. Got a headache. He's got influenza. No, he's got sinusitis. Sinusitis. Inflammation of the sinuses. If we get all our patients today, and it doesn't steal two of them from us. He's going to get himself some water now, oh, Dr. Taylor. Dollars? Bing bong! Who's next? That would be you, Mrs. Or Mr. Of a beardy fellow. Beardy, beardy, beardy. James Jackson has got swallow pain and vomiting. Mm. He's got pharyngitis. Basically, he's got sore throat. Yeah, and I wouldn't have necessarily bothered the hospital for that, mate. We've just got some lozenges. You've been for a shit. I hope you wash your hands. He's going for the loot. Don't miss your slot. It is was his slot. No, was it? Was it is? Was Jane Adams? It's got fever and pain in the ears. She's got tonsillitis then. Bank it up a bit. Started yet? Next. Chest contusion, broken ribs. Hmm. Why hasn't he finished with her yet? Come on, mate, you're dragging your heels a bit. Might be a lot. Shalom. She's got dermatitis. Shingles. 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 Two shingles patients. But that other woman must have sent for testing. Her. Uh, this is freaking. She's just got tonsillitis, mate. Just just say she's got tons of lighters. Reynolds. Wow, that's a new one. Fatigue and red eye, you've got hay fever. All your weakness, abdominal pain. Come on. Did we decide on you? Why is he sent out for bloody more tests? Oh, she's going to mess around. We're going to end up not curing him. 
I'm waiting for all these stats lab people. Come on. Then it closes at six, don't forget. Or seven, is it seven? He's going for poo. Come on. Can't be a lot of lot, lot of options. She's got one or the other, and it's probably bacterial. Come on. Not muck about. Elizabeth Lee? Now oh, he's going to take a blood. Why didn't you do all that at the same time? Seriously. Why have got a flipping tapeworm? Oh, she's got to go back to the blooming stats lab. This is why we ain't going to get 20 patients today. Talk about faffing about. You got 20 minutes left, 40 minutes left in the day. Come on. Four minutes, please. You. <coughs> You're being summoned. Oh, failed to cure her. For all that mess, and we don't get paid for her. She's got bacterial tonsillitis, but she's going home. She's not going to get cured. Oh dear. Not good. Too short, look. would have been money wouldn't it at the end of the day so we still haven't hit our treat 20 patients per day thing ah. do we need to hire an, do we need, need another GP office and another GP would that help us because the, th the thing I'm thinking is we build that um x-ray room and they're going to send 10 more patients which will take us up to 30 patients a day not too much to ask them to treat 10 patients each i don't think it's it's too too much to ask for um on a six for six I'm going to need to remove that wall. <laughs> to a point. Some foundations. Oh, not that wall. We want our brick wall in red. We're going to go all the way along there. Then we'll have our carpet. 
lovely blue shag pile. Like so. We then want reception, because we're going to want a corridor. Push it into there. We need a GP. Keep medicine. You're 72 years old. You're a good boss. You have dirty feet. I don't want you if you're going to make a mess everywhere. You're drunk. You're an alcoholic. We've already got matey boy who turns up late for work every day. You do your best work at night. Hells decrease. You're a good boss. Why do you leave monkey feet and you're slow? Jordan Moore. You are hired. I also think we want a second lady in the biochemistry lab. Um. Learn. And we're going to hire you, Peter Moore. We don't have another janitor. Don't need, really need another receptionist, do we? A good boss, but you like to eat. Hmm. See if we can find another one. Who has good receptionist skills? You're a good boss, you're a scholar. All your needs are reduced much slower. You have 40% for receptionism. James Robinson? I, you are hired. Knew a James Robinson once. Jamie Robinson. Right. Let's advance time a bit. Can't skip the day yet, sadly. Can't skip the night. Can we only skip the night at half eight when these lock go on? Straight on till morning. They're off then. Seem to have lost some money there. Yeah, our wage bill is quite high. As was our building and stuff. So I've got to keep her eye on that. Don't want to go too expensive. Clinic's going to open. Is Dr. Taylor going to be on time today? Doesn't look like it. Do the patients beat him into work? The janitors beat him into work. My word. First patients, two patients have beat Dr. Taylor. What's your problem? Okay. Got some stuff wrong here. All hidden symptoms. What time will Dr. Taylor show up today? Is he going to be late? Is he going to be about 9 o'clock again? You're going in first. You've got a fever. You should be pretty easy to sort out then. Fatigue. 
giving him a chair. Itching. All right, quick pause. Build mode. I want a fancy chair. Now your patients can sit down and talk to you, Doc, when they're treating them. Dr. Taylor still hasn't made it into work. Jennifer Davis has probably got viral tonsillitis, I'm going to guess. My matey's probably going to muck around. Got a painful vesicular rash. I mean, she eyes. So you've got contact dermatitis. So he's going to give you some numbing ointment and an antihistamine. Need to hit 20 patients today. Here he is. Fucking hell, quarter past nine. Fucking hell. Oh, to ask for some wages back off the man. If he ain't going to make his hours up. That's like a whole patient we could have treated in that time. Got a fever. You'll be easy to deal with then. You've got a chest injury and pain. You've probably got chest confusion, contusion. I doubt you've got broken ribs. Because we can't treat you if you have. Got a bruise. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say you've got a contusion. You've bruised your chest. You've had a blunt trauma impact. Chills, fatigue, fever. You've got influenza, mate. You ain't got babesiosis. That is for sure. You're, you're going home happy? Who are you? You were the tonsillitis lady. to say he's got broken ribs because if he's got broken ribs we can't treat him just contusion yes got influenza you're easy to deal with you're not the patient I would have um, sent you to see You're back. Elizabeth Lee. Oh, there's no clear diagnosis. I'd rather Dr. Moore have a look at you, if that's okay. I'm going to send her off to get a differential diagnosis by um, Dr. Um, Moore. He might be able to um, rule out some of these fractures. Dana Walker. Arm injury and swelling, that's not good. Nancy Brown has got chest pain. Weakness. Fatigue. Iron deficiency anemia. There we go.
I'm gonna say you got arm contusion. I'm guessing. I just don't want to say broken arm because there's no way to treat you if you have. Got an arm contusion. Pain's probably not a good sign. Who's next? Worst case scenario, she comes back tomorrow and says, I've got, I've got a broken arm. You've got a hand injury. See, they're really pushing for us to have an x-ray department, are they now? You've got a common cold. Thank you, Fraser Wilson, for being a simple patient. He's going to have a bit of a cop and a feel, not. And contusion. Something in her for. Well, he's going to do a differential diagnosis, right? Because he's a bit of a specialist, this fella. So he'll have a bit of a... Um, he'll get her to take a top off and stuff, no doubt. He likes that sort of thing. I'm just going to say contusion. It's probably not right. But I don't have an x-ray department and I'm not going to buy an x-ray. She's 82 years old. She's probably going to die. I won't worry about it. Right, you've got bronchitis. You're an easy fix. You've got a hand contusion. You're an easy fix. What about some of these others? She's the one that's the problem. I reckon she's got tapeworm myself. Old Elizabeth Lee. she come back. I'm surprised. Normally, she'd come back. You seem to have fallen asleep, mate. Right, you've got painful lymph nodes. Tonsillitis. You've got bronchitis. Yeah, you was an easy fix. You beardy, beardy, beardy. You've got a leg injury. Oh, not another one. Limited leg motion. Come on, Doc. Make the call. Squirt of hand sanitizer. Still not sure.
head contusion. <laughs> Worst case scenario. Oh, flipping egg. Ankle contusion. I'm pretty sure if you'd got broken bones, you wouldn't have walked in here. You'd have been carried. Halfway through the dome, we've hit 10 patients. None of them have been straightforward. Pick these guys out. Come on. Next batch. Right, you've got back pain, you've got scoliosis. It's always scoliosis. Let's send him to see Jordan Moore. If we can't get a better opinion. You've got night sweats, sleeping problem. You've got chronic fatigue syndrome, so you're going to have rest. Sleeping drugs. Maybe even exercise, maybe. Exercise because he's got weakness. Williams has got an angle contusion. Why hasn't she been called in yet? problem back pain numbness scoliosis You got scoliosis, mate. Trust me. I know scoliosis when I see it. Who's summoning? No one. No one wants to see you. Comes Ujima Flat. This is Ujima Flat. She's got pain.
Limited leg motion, tenderness. Mm, you're going to be an awkward patient, ain't you? You've got a hand injury. Hand contusion. Oh, there's no good keep... No, don't go to see Thomas Jones, because he's rubbish. He can't do a differential diagnosis, can he? Welling, tenderness, limited. You've got leg contusion. I wanted her to be seen by one of the better pay people who can do a differential diagnosis. Because he can't. He's not good enough. You also make dirty feet everywhere. I might sack you. Right, you get hand contusion. Yeah, you're going away. You're going away. Only you left, really. Jessica Brown. She's going to go to the stats lab. No, she's coming back. Stall analysis. On what she got. It's got to go to the stats lab for that, probably. Isn't good, is it? Not good. What's your problem, mate? Finger numbers. You've got golfer's elbow. Okie dokie. Your patient number 19 cured today? Oh, gonna be a pain in the backside. Hopefully, it's contusion. Of some kind. Redness, bruise, swelling. Yeah. Nothing broken, so it is a contusion. Differential diagnosis, it's going to be a... He's not going to be sure, is he? No, we're not doing a uh, x-ray. He might not know. I'm going to go for hand contusion. That's got 2%. <laughs> I know it's risky business, this. Picking patients based on them. Um, we just want to get 20 treated in one day. Right, mate. Mate, he's finished doing a sample. She? 60,000 government grant. Excellent. Right, we may invest in an x ray room <laughs> for tomorrow. He's playing Solitaire. Right, go back and see the doctor now. You've got a pork tapeworm. I called it. I called it, didn't I? Flipping called it. This is patient 21. 
treat at least 70% of patients during a day. Well, we've done that. We've treated all of them. So we're going to nail that flipping gizmo. That give us another 80 grand. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yeah, we can definitely do some expanding tomorrow. We can get our um, radiology department set up. You're going home, so you're all done. All the patients have been dealt with. It's not, and we're three hours ahead of schedule, pretty much. Two hours ahead of schedule. Excellent. Right, well, I guess that means I'm going to pause and save here and um, call the episode to an end. And um, basically, when I pick up next time, we'll be putting in our, um, our radiology department. That should be pretty cool, shouldn't it? Getting radiology. We can start doing x-rays and everything and CAT scans and all that good stuff. So thank you all for watching this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you'll consider hitting that like button and um, sharing this video wherever you see fit. Um, please leave any questions, comments, suggestions, feedback, anything at all you wish to say down below in the comment section. And if you're not already doing so, please remember to smash that subscribe button. For now, from me, it is goodbye.